BFTB, best fight the best. In order to get what we all want, which is the best fight the best and the rankings to mean something, we have to figure out and know why fighters are ranked where they are ranked. This series will break down the sanctioning bodies and where they have their fighters ranked. Looking at the WBO rankings in the welterweight division, you have Terrence Bud Crawford as the champion. Number one, Danny Garcia. Number two, Sergey Lickinuts. Number three, Virgil Ortiz. Four, Mika Shanananan. Five, Michael Zuski. Six, Crouton Clayton. Seven, Michael McKinson. Quadruple Armadillo. David Avenesian. Green Beans. Kiwi. Martin Luther Clay. Ennis. Yucky Beppu. And Nurse Zoltan. First off, um, this has got to be the worst rankings out of any one of the sanctioned bodies. It, the only thing I like better about this one than the IBF is the fact that they actually have the number two guy ranked. But let's go through these rankings because um, I don't agree with damn near none of them. Uh, there's some that I do. The rest of them I don't. But let, let's go through these and let's talk. Now, some of the fighters on here I agree with. Danny Garcia, I agree. Um, Sergey Lickinuts, he could be on the ra ranking, but not at number two. Virgil Ortiz, I agree. Um, uh, David Avenesian, maybe. Boots Ennis, absolutely. Um, Green Beans, uh, he could be on the list, but not at number 10. Uh, the rest of these motherfuckers is absolute garbage. But because they're on here, we're going to rank them. Um, we're going to go over them and we're going to figure out why they're here. We're, I, well, not why they're here, because I don't know why they're here. But we're going to talk about... Um, them being on here, and then we're going to go into where they should be. All right. Mika Shanananan. Why the fuck is this guy ranked number four? I have no idea. Looking at this man's resume, he fought Yoli Ding Dong, fucking Shracknack Ingus, Mafa Mafa. Who the fuck is this? Your, your first and last name is spelled the exact same way. <laughs> what, what kind of shit is that? This nigga's name is Mafa Mafa. His first and last name is spelled the exact same way. He fought a nigga named Sid. Like, for real, Sid. S-A-I-D, Sid. Sid Yaduzi. A nigga named Wawa. Another nigga named Wawa. Uh, this, get this guy the fuck out of here, bro. There's no way in hell that he should be ranked number four. <laughs> Absolute garbage. Number five, Michael Zuski. All right, this guy is the dude that lost to Konstantin Panamarov. Um, I, I don't know how beating um, fucking I.E. Bruce, Pablo Escobar's ne uh, nephew out this bitch. Uh, look, I don't know how beating any of these people, Alejandro, De I don't know how beating any of these people has him at number five. I have no idea how that happened. I don't know what he's done, but lose to Konstantin Panamara in order to be number five. I, I, I haven't figured this out. You, you lose to Konstantin Panamara, then you fight all these people in Canada. Um, I have no idea how you are number five. I have no idea at all. These guys are all bums that you beat. They have beat nobody, but yet you're number five. Number six, Crouton Clayton's. Bro, at this point, Crouton Clayton, at this point, this dude is just a filler, bro. He's just someone that they just put on a list just to just to add people's names. This, this dude, he hasn't beaten anybody. He hasn't done anything, bro. Nothing at all. There's, I don't understand how he's on these rankings. He hasn't beaten anybody at, um, below him. I mean, he's just a filler, bro. He, he's just a filler. They're like, well, shit, we need somebody to put in here at um, these rankings and this rank and that ranking. So, shit, croutons, let's put this nigga on there. 
Number seven, Michael McKinson. Hey, wait a minute, what the hell? Um, bruh. In his, <laughs> bruh, this guy, how is he number seven? What? What the fuck? I, I, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm confused at how, bro. In his last, in, in, in his last ten fights, in one of his last ten fights, he fought Kevin McCulley, fifteen and one hundred and sixty-nine and twelve. What did you say? Fifteen wins, one hundred and sixty-nine losses. And 12 draws. And he beat him on points. He beat a guy on points. Who has 169 losses. And this guy. Is ranked number 7. Now I can see if that's somebody that he fought. In his first or second fight. This is someone he just fought bro. He, this is in his, in his last 6 fights bro. In his last six fights, this is one of the guys that he fought. In all, bro, just everything is in the UK. All of his fights is you, this, bro. You gotta be fucking kidding me. You gotta be kidding me, bro. You got to be fucking kidding me. Michael McKinson, number seven, bro. Number eight, quadruple armadillo, bro. I'm I'm tired of this dude, bro. I, I'm just I'm really tired of this dude. He's made his record. He made his record. He, he made himself off of beating Louis Colazzo. That, that, that's where he, he's gotten all this hype from, from beating Louis Colazzo. The same Louis Colazzo who lost to Keith Thurman, mm. lost to Amir Khan, mm. he lost to Andre Berto, mm. he lost to Shane Mosley, mm. he lost to Ricky Hatton. Mm. He fought some guys and lost to them all. Mm. But because Quadruple Armadillo beat Luis Colazzo, he is somehow this world beater. I, I'm just, I'm, I'm tired of this dude, bro. I'm really tired of him. Um, does he, should he be on the list? Fine, put him on the list. Fine. But he should not be where he's at. He should be like towards the damn bottom. Like 12 or some shit like that. Number 11, Freddie Kiwi. Who, who lost to Luther Clay, who is number 12. So in his last fight, so his last fight was against number 12 and he lost. So how is he ranked ahead of the guy that he lost to in his last fight? And they fought in December. This is February. They fought in December. And he still ranked ahead of the guy that beat him. But that, that, wow. That's all I can say about that is wow. Number 12, Martin Luther Clay. Um, this guy has literally beat nobody. The, the only person that is on his resume is Freddie Kiewit, who is ranked ahead of him. <laughs> the, the only guy that he beat is another bum that happens to be ranked ahead of him. Okay, yeah, well, you could get both of these guys the fuck out of here. Number 14, Yucky Beppy. Bruh. All right. Yo, in his last 10 fights, his last 10 fights, he has fought one fighter with just one loss. One. And that fighter had zero wins. Samurai uh, <laughs> Leprechaun. He fought... Samurai Leprechaun, who was 0-1. How is this guy ranked in the top 15? In the top 15. In his last five fights, he fought a guy 19-5, 29-10, 24-20, Then the next five, 0 and 1, a debut, 0 and 2, 26 and 3, and another debut. The best guy on his resume is someone who he fought in 2017. But yet he's ranked number 14 in the rankings, in the WBO rankings. So he can be a voluntary for Terrence Bud Crawford. You've got to be fucking kidding me. Number 15, Nurse Zoltan, who is 8-0 and, and be eight bums. 
that is it. But yet he's number 15. He can be a voluntary for Terrence Bud Crawford. Wow. Um, these rankings are absolute trash. So what we're going to do is what we did with the other rankings, um, the other sanctioning bodies. We're going to rank these how they should be ranked based on who they beat, what they done, and how eager we are to see them fight the champion. And that's really the major one and the most important one is how eager we are to see them fight the champion. All right, using those criteria, we're going to put these fighters in order, um, pretty much from the least desired fight to the most desired fight in the WBO rankings. Um, number 15, Nurse Zoltan. Um, number 14, Michael Mick whatever. Number 13, Green Beans. Number 12, Yucky Beppu. And number 11, Freddie Kimmett. Now, I, I say all these um, in this order because I literally don't give a fuck about none of these fights. I could care less if every last one of these motherfuckers never fought anybody ever. Every last one of these dudes is straight garbage. So I, I could care less um, if they ever fought at all. The only reason why um, Green Beans is this low um, and not in the second tier is because uh, Bud already beat him. He was a bum when Bud, when Bud beat him the first time. So I damn sure don't want to see the, the fight again. It, it's pointless. Moving on to the middle group of uh, five fighters that um, are next up. You have um, this Luther Clay dude at uh, number 10. Shana Nananan at number 9. Zu uh, Zucchini at uh, number 8. Quadruple Armadillo at number seven, and Croutons at number six. Bro, this has got to be the most pathetic bottom five I've ever seen in the sanctioning body at all. Nobody on here deserves to fight Terrence Bud Crawford. Not one of them. Every last one of these dudes is absolute garbage. And arguably the worst rankings of the sanctioning bodies. Um, this is the top five of the fights that I want to see. Um, number five, David Avenesian. I do not want to see that fight. I don't give a fuck, but he's top five in this, whatever. Um, number three, Sergey Lickin' Nuts. I really don't give a fuck about that fight either, but again, he's top, top five in the sanctioned body. This is what I got to work with. This is what I'm working with. So um, it is what it is. Number three, a fight I do want to see. Jerron Boots Ennis versus Terrence Bud Crawford. Number two, and another fight that I do want to see, Virgil Ortiz versus Terrence Bud Crawford. And my number one fight that I want to see, Danny Swift Garcia versus Terrence Bud Crawford. They have history. Um, this is a very lucrative fight. Um, it'll show, it'll, it'll give um, Bud Crawford the opportunity to show the world just how good he is, um, just how talented he is, just how special he is. Ter uh, Danny Garcia and Bud Crawford have fought each other already. They're 1-1 one one, um, in the amateurs. So this will be the rubber match um, and the pros and they'll get paid for it. So this is the most, um, this is the fight that I want to see the most in the WBO rankings. In one of the worst ranking systems, the worst sanctioned bodies I've ever seen, um, they have one of the best fighters leading it. This is fucking pathetic. This is such a fucking disgrace to have such a talent as the champion of this division and no talent to challenge him in his sanctioning body. Fucking pathetic. Absolutely fucking pathetic. But it is what it is, man. You got fucking licking nuts, motherfucking green beans and, and crustaceans and armadillos and kiwis all over the fucking place. This is just absolutely fucking pathetic. Just, just a fucking disgrace. Whatever, man. Bud Crawford, man, you, you're running it. You're running um, the WBO, the whatever Bob orders belt. I mean, whatever, dude. Like, you got to fight somebody, man. 
and and the only there's only really three that you can fight. So hopefully you get those fights, um, and then we get undisputed, and we'll we'll see how that plays out. BFTB, shout out to the LDBC, and I'm out.